Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will show you a game between Emmanuel Aska and Ignaz von Popiel. This amazing chess game was played in Berlin in 1889. Play with white pieces in this game, Emmanuel Laska was famous for being the second official world chess champion, reigning for a record of 27 years after he defeated the first world champion, William Steinitz. And play with the black pieces in this game. Ignaz von Popiel was famous because he was once in a lost position, but instead of resigning, his opponent resigned in a one position. Okay, let's have a look at this game. Emmanuel Laska had white pieces and he started with e4. Ignaz von Popiel played e5. Knight to c3, going for the Vienna game. Knight to f6, but now, not f4, g3, going for the closed Vienna. This was supposed to be a surprise. Ignaz von Popiel played the knight to c6. Bishop to g2, bishop to c5. Knight from g to e2, d6. h3, preventing bishop to g4. Bishop to e6, knight to d5, bishop takes on d5, e takes on d5, knight to e7, defending the pawn, queen to d7, d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, and both players cast at the king's side. Knight to f5, knight takes knight, queen takes on f5. So, Popiel has done well in the opening against a surprise closed Vienna opening. The game continued. Bishop to d2, knight to e4. And white must be very careful. Well, Laska didn't like bishop takes knight. He played the king to h2. Let's take it back. If white plays something like bishop to e1, preserving the bishop pair, then black would play Knight takes on g3, the f-pawn is pinned. Let's go back to our game. To avoid this problem, king to h2 was played. This is the critical position of the game. Can black take on f2 without being punished? Would you? Well, Ignaz von Popiel took on f2. White to move, queen to b3. If queen to e2, then rook from a to e8 attacking the queen. So. Emmanuel Laska played queen to b3, attacking the pawn on b7. Ignaz von Popiel played the queen to h5, lining the queen with the white king. Queen takes on b7, threatening to take the pawn on c7. How would you defend the pawn on c7? What would you do? Ignaz von Popiel played rook from a to b8, very clever move. Queen takes on c7. Rook takes on b2 attacking the bishop and invading the second rank. How relevant is that? Bishop to c3 attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? Or if you wish, what is the best move for black? Please pause and find the best move. Did you pause or did you find? Are you ready to see the move? Popiel made a move that made spectators' jaws drop on the ground. And the move is... Queen takes on h3 check. What a move! Did you see this one coming? This is check. Should white take or move the king? Emmanuel Aska played king to g1, let's take it back. If bishop takes on h3, then knight to g4, double check, and after king to h1, rook to h2, check, mate. Amazing, isn't it? Back to our game. To avoid this checkmate, Emmanuel Alaska played king to g1. Black to move, how would you continue now? Ignaz von Papiel made another brilliant move and that is queen to h1 check white has 
only one move available and that is bishop takes on h1. Black to move and to checkmate. In one end the move is knight to h3, double check, checkmate. Absolutely amazing. Ignaz von Popiel didn't win this game by pure luck, did he? You won against Laska in a great style. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.